If you are not using keyboard shortcuts with Google Mail, you really ought to give them a try. It cuts the time it takes to deal with mail tremendously. Uh, let me give you a little short demonstration here. So we see here on the screen I have an email from someone called Demo Deacon. Let's open it. Ah, you would go on and on about keyboard shortcuts. What is the big deal? Well, I could come up here and click on reply or click down here, but I can just type R. And uh, now I can compose my reply. It saves me lots of time. Sent. Okay, it's dealt with. I want to file it away. I can type L for label. L is this keyboard shortcut for label. And then I can begin typing the la label. I really want to send him a more detailed list later, so I'll put down um, action. Re oh, there it is, action required. I'll just click on that for my label. It's filed away uh, under the label action required. I don't want it in my inbox anymore, so I will hit E for archive. Click, boom, it's gone. It's not in there anymore. Oh, I see a new email has popped up in reply to my last one from demo. Let's see what it says. Uh, okay then, what keyboard shortcuts are your favorites? Let me reply. Uh, R for reply. A for reply all. F for forward. L for label. And E for archive. Those are the ones I use all the time. So I will send that. It is gone and ready to archive it. Do I need to label it? Well, no, because I have because I have conversations view. It is already labeled. Um, I, I'm going to archive this, and if I like, I can search for a label. Action required. There it is. And so there is that whole thread. I only had to label the first message, not the second message, and that whole conversation is taken care of. Okay, so how do you turn on keyboard shortcuts? We need to go into settings, click the gear icon, then click on settings. And we'll scroll down to where it says keyboard shortcuts. We want to be sure that is clicked on, keyboard shortcuts on, then go down to the very bottom, Click Save Changes. I didn't make any changes uh, because I already had it turned on. But then if you'll click that, it will take you back to your mail. And keyboard shortcuts are now enabled. Uh, that's it. So I encourage you to give it a try. And I also encourage you to use Conversations View, uh, which uh, make keyboard shortcuts work even better because you only need to label uh, that is file away, uh, organize the first message of the thread. With conversations view, all messages are grouped together in a thread, and they and if one is filed, if you file the first one, they are all filed under that same label or labels. And by the way, you can have multiple labels as I do here. Um, uh, I have it under the action required label. Also, I have the WFU label because it, it one of the messages was to or from someone at Wake Forest. That would be me. So, um, uh, turning conversations view on makes it easier to file messages. Each time you open it, the red messages will be collapsed, as you see here, and the uh, most recent message uh, and any unrest me unread messages will be uncollapsed. You can click on any message to expand it out. So that's the uh, very quick introduction to keyboard shortcuts and the virtual conversations view. If you want to turn on conversations view, that is once again the gear icon, then settings, and then look for conversations view. Thank you very much.